my fellow Singaporeans and residents of East Coast GRC, good evening. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Fairoz. I am the Workers' Party candidate for East Coast GRC. Please allow me to speak first in English and then in Malay. In my first rally speech, I shared a little bit about myself and about the milestones that mark my political journey. The first of these milestones occurred during the 2001 general elections. That year was supposed to be the year that I finally got the chance to exercise my right to vote. But the GRC where I was living in had a walkover and was won by the PAP without contest. Residents of East Coast GRC, my political journey began here in East Coast GRC. In 2001, it was East Coast GRC that had been won by the PAP without contest. The frustrations I felt in 2001 at not being able to choose the MPs for East Coast GRC has always been the driving force behind my political activism. I am truly humbled that the next milestone in my political journey is also here at East Coast GRC as the Workers' Party candidate. I hope to give you, the residents of East Coast GRC, a genuine choice in these elections and the opportunity to empower your future. I hope that you, the residents of East Coast GRC, will provide me and my teammates the chance to serve you as your elected MPs. I will now talk about one of the issues that I am most passionate about, which is the kind of support that we can provide to our aspiring adult learners to empower their future. Last Friday, I took some time off from campaigning to attend my wife's graduation ceremony at SIM. My wife had been conferred a nursing degree from the University of Sydney. It was a long and sometimes difficult journey for my wife to realize her dream of attaining a nursing degree. As an adult learner, she had to juggle between her work commitments and her studies. On top of that, she had to cope with the pregnancy and birth of our third child. When I was lecturing part-time at SIM University, most of my students were adult learners. From my interactions with my students, I saw the many challenges that our adult learners have to face to realize their dream. One of the biggest challenges faced by our adult learners is that they have to juggle between their work commitments, their studies, and their family time. A day in the life of an adult learner typically goes like this. They work from morning until 5.30 or 6 p.m. After work, they rush over to school for classes that typically starts at 7 p.m. and ends at 10 p.m. And by the time they reach home, it is maybe 11 p.m. or close to midnight. In our manifesto, the Workers' Party calls for fair regulation of mandatory flexi work arrangements, where companies should be obliged to cater for a work-life friendly environment for workers. Under this mandatory flexi work arrangement, workers who have worked for a company with more than 20 employees for more than six months should be allowed to make requests for flexible working arrangements. With mandatory flexi work arrangements, workers could therefore request to be dismissed earlier on days when they need to go to classes so that they do not need to rush to school. Such a flexi work arrangement would definitely help our adult learners to better juggle between their work commitments, their studies, and their family time. Through this flexi work arrangement, our adult learners will be able to sharpen their skills, which will open up more opportunities for them. Our adult learners will also be better equipped for their jobs, which will ultimately benefit their employers. Plus, our adult learners will have more time for their families, which will strengthen the bedrock of our society. 
This is what I call a win-win-win situation. My fellow Singaporeans, all of us want a better future for ourselves, our children and our nation. As fellow Singaporeans, we should help one another to realise our dreams. Let us therefore help our adult learners to build a better future for themselves and their children. Come September 11, your vote will not only help to empower your future, it will also help our fellow Singaporeans to realise their dreams. Vote the Workers' Party, empower your future. I will now speak in Malay. Dalam ucapan rapat umum pertama saya, saya telah berkongsi dengan anda sedikit sebanyak tentang diri saya dan peristiwa-peristiwa penting yang menandakan perjalanan politik saya. Malam ini, saya akan bercakap tentang salah satu isu yang saya amat prihatin, yakni sokongan yang boleh kita berikan kepada pelajar-pelajar dewasa kami yang ingin memperkasakan masa depan mereka. Sebagai seorang pensyarah sambilan di University SIM, kebanyakan pelajar-pelajar saya adalah pelajar-pelajar dewasa. Melalui interaksi saya dengan mereka, saya mendapati pelajar-pelajar dewasa kami banyak menghadapi cabaran yang menghalang mereka daripada merealisasikan impian mereka. Salah satu cabaran terbesar yang dihadapi oleh pelajar-pelajar dewasa kami adalah perlunya bagi mereka untuk mengimbangi antara kejaya, kerja-kerja sekolah dan masa keluarga mereka. Satu hari dalam kehidupan seorang pelajar dewasa biasanya sebegini. Mereka bekerja dari pagi hingga lima setengah atau enam petang. Selepas kerja, mereka tergesa-gesa ke sekolah untuk menghadiri kelas yang biasanya bermula pada pukul tujuh malam dan berakhir pada jam sepuluh malam. Justeru itu, mereka hanya akan pulang ke rumah pada jam sebelas malam ke atas. Dalam manifesto kami, parti pekerja menyarankan supaya kita mewujudkan sebuah sistem fleksi kerja yang wajib dan saksama di mana syarikat-syarikat diwajibkan untuk memberi pekerja-pekerja mereka sebuah persekitaran kerja yang mesra kerja hidup. Melalui sistem fleksi kerja yang wajib ini, pekerja-pekerja yang telah bekerja dengan sebuah syarikat yang mempunyai lebih daripada 20 pekerja untuk lebih daripada 6 bulan harus dibenarkan untuk membuat permintaan terhadap kaedah bekerja yang fleksibel. Dengan kaedah bekerja yang fleksibel, pekerja-pekerja boleh meminta untuk pulang lebih awal supaya mereka tidak perlu untuk tergesa-gesa ke kelas-kelas mereka. Sistem fleksi kerja pasti akan membantu pelajar-pelajar dewasa kami untuk mengimbangi antara kejaya, kerja-kerja sekolah dan masa keluarga mereka. Semasa saya bersyarah di Universiti SIM, saya telah memerhatikan bahawa terdapat sebilangan besar pelajar-pelajar dewasa Melayu yang memburu ijazah pertama mereka dengan belajar secara sambilan. Saya yakin kita boleh membantu mereka jika kita benarkan mereka untuk memanfaatkan dana yang tidak diagihkan dari skim subsidi Yuran Tuition Pengajian Tinggi Mendaki atau TTFS. Pada tahun 2012, Ahli Parlimen Parti Pekerja Muhammad Faisal telah bertanya di Parlimen mengenai jumlah dana yang diberikan kepada mendaki untuk skim TTFS pada setiap tahun sejak tahun 2001. Di dalam jawapan kepada soalan Parlimen itu, ia telah dinyatakan bahawa dana yang tidak diagihkan dari TTFS akan disalurkan kepada tabung pembangunan pendidikan mendaki atau EDF. Laporan kewangan mendaki untuk tahun 2014 menunjukkan bahawa kira-kira 18 juta dolar subsidi TTFS yang tidak diagihkan telah dipindahkan ke EDF pada tahun 2014. Saya berpendapat membenarkan pelajar-pelajar dewasa Melayu kita 
untuk memanfaatkan dana yang tidak diagihkan dari subsidi TTFS tidak akan menimbulkan masalah kerana jumlahnya amat besar. Lagipun, pelajar-pelajar dewasa Melayu kita patut dikategorikan sebagai pelajar-pelajar pengajian tinggi walaupun mereka belajar secara sambilan. Saudara-saudari sekalian, kita semua inginkan masa depan yang lebih cerah untuk diri kita, anak-anak kita dan negara kita. Sebagai rakyat Singapura, kita harus membantu satu sama lain untuk mencapai impian-impian kita. Oleh itu, marilah kita membantu pelajar-pelajar dewasa kita untuk membina masa depan yang lebih cerah untuk diri mereka dan anak-anak mereka. Pada 11 September, undi anda bukan sahaja akan membantu untuk memperkasakan masa depan anda, ia juga akan membantu semua rakyat Singapura untuk merealisasikan impian mereka. Undilah parti pekerja memperkasakan masa depan anda.